go through the alphabet. Do you know your ABCs? Everybody, we are going to talk about the video game alphabet challenge. I seen this in the community and I had saw that I had beat a lot of games and I was like, well, what challenges have I done? So I looked through all my games and I saw that the video game one year challenge where you try to beat a game every year since 1960. I didn't beat that many games that were in a spectrum of every year. So I was like, let me look and see what I have available. And I looked and I went, oh, I can beat the video game <laughs> alphabet challenge because I literally have a lot of games that I've beaten that were of the challenge for that year. So I looked through and I said, I'm close. What letters do I need available? And I literally looked and I saw that I only had like two letters that I needed to complete and then I was done. So we're going to go through now that I've finished all the other letters and we will check and see what I put on the list because I wanted to put the highlights of each letter that I thought were amazing games so that if you want to starting off at the letter A is Alan Wake American Nightmare. This one is originally on the Xbox 360 and it follows Alan Wake again but this time he is struggling through a time loop. You have to save all the people each loop and try to beat your doppelganger. You have actual FMV for this video and it's really cool. I like the game having FMV. Each cutscene was the actual actors and actresses who played the original roles and they came back for this video game. I don't know if it's actually considered a full game to some people because it's only about 3-4 hours, not a full game like it was for Alan Wake where it was about 8-10 to 10 hours depending on how long you took. But I recommend this one, it's a very good game. Now we have the letter B which is Battletoads. This was originally released for the Xbox One. I played it through Game Pass and decided that I want to see what it was like to play Battletoads. There is some nostalgia in there, there is some nice little quirks. You get to play as all the Battletoads and they reminisce and go through all the platforming and you get to ride the bike. Recommend this game. It's a good game. It's a beat-em-up. I love beat-em-ups. The letter C is Chinatown Detective Agency. This is a 90s nostalgia homage to the PC games that were like Carmen Sandiego. You are a private detective. You are told to do multiple things for your clients, such as find where this coin was from, return it, give this person a ticket, find out who murdered somebody, different things like that. It's a great game. I recommend it. It's point and click, so if you're not into point and click, don't touch it. But I recommend it to everybody who is getting the nostalgia bug and it's got a lot of stuff and the puzzles are not so difficult to where you're going to rage quit. This is the letter D and that is Doom. Never really played a Doom game. I was holding off playing a Doom game for the fact that I really wasn't into shooters like that. But you know what? I said I would try it out. And I decided to go with the reboot which was done in 2016 and I enjoyed it. I liked it. Some people were saying that it's way better than Eternal and I do recommend this one. I will say though that there is some bosses that are very difficult so take your time. Put the controller down if it rages you out <laughs> and go back to it because the ending is really, really good. Next is Escape Academy. This one intrigued me. Uh, I thought it was just going to be a bunch of escape rooms. You get multiple levels and you're done and then you just go to the next one. This one actually is an actual story. It's about uh, a kid who is, which is you, you are going through an escape room because you like them and then you find out that the escape room was a challenge to see if you were ready for the Escape Academy. Kind of like Carmen Sandiego, the, the animated show for Netflix where she was raised in a school for people who like to rob things. So this one is you're in a school and the headmaster gives you a bunch of challenges, which is kind of weird that the school has real bombs that you could potentially blow up the whole school if you don't get it correctly the first time. You'd think they would have like <laughs> knockoff ones, but it's legit bombs. So please solve the puzzle, otherwise you blow up. Next is the letter F and that is Fight Night Champion. These are amazing games. Fight Night, anything Fight Night, I enjoy. I had Fight Night from like two, I think it was like Fight Night 2002, but I recommend this one. This one actually has a story because most of the finite games don't have a story. This one does. Basically, you're a fighter who is going up in the ranks 
and then a guy wants to mess with you and say, you're going to have me as a manager, get rid of your old manager. He says no. So you have to fight with him only to find out that he won. He throws you in prison, gets you for something that you didn't do. Now you have to work your way back up through the ranks to battle and win. So 10 out of 10, the story is amazing. The last fight is very difficult. Again, please take your time, figure it out, go slow. You will enjoy the story. That is the letter G. Gears 5 was the one that I chose for this, and that's because I liked it. I enjoyed the game. Gears 5 is basically you're following Cat and a bunch of, of the stuff from <laughs> Gears 4 where you follow the timeline for Cat. She's trying to figure out what's going on with her mom and her grandma and her basically her whole family. And you got the creatures and you need to see why they are tied to Cat. And I recommend it. I like the shooter. I like the games. I've always liked Gears games, but just look around the world. A lot of stuff is just like kind of like Tomb Raider. It's there. You forget about it, you, or you don't notice it, and then you're... Ugh. <laughs> Next is an older game from the Atari 2600, and that is Haunted House. Now, mind you, I love Haunted House. I played it all the time, but I never knew what I was doing when I was a kid. I would run around the creepy house, look at all the, the ghosts and the spiders and everything like that, and not know what I was doing. It wasn't until I found the manual when I was much older, then I read the story and went, Oh, you're looking for an urn. Okay, find the pieces of the urn and then make a mad dash for the exit. The exit's on the first floor, it's on the main floor. Find it on the right, you're good to go. You got nine lives. You got this. The letter I is Immortality. This is an FMV game. Basically, you go and scrubbing through all the footage because you're a detective and you're trying to figure out what happened to the actress who vanished mysteriously. She made three movies for each decade and magically she just poof into the air. So you have to figure out what happened through the back to the behind the scenes footage to all the way to all the movies, the actual films that were made. And I enjoyed it. I recommend it. Very confusing. Don't worry about everything. Just wait for the controller to give you the signal to click something and figure it out. Just click on faces until you figure out what's going on. The letter J is Joe Danger 2, the movie. This was an intriguing game. Basically, you are a stunt double who has to get through the obstacle course to get the movie done. Basically, you are doing the stunts in the movie, but there are puzzles and obstacles all the way through. So you have to zig and zag and move all the way through and jump at the correct time and knock out the people that are doing whatever they're doing to block you. I like it. I enjoyed it. I find it very intriguing that it was a Xbox 360 game, PS3 game that missed me by like a decade almost probably, but I like it. Next is the letter K and that is Kirby's Adventure. Kirby. And yes, I enjoy it. The last boss is always a little doozy. I recommend you fly and shoot the stars, but I enjoy Kirby. He's a little puff who can absorb powers and go through platforming and fly. Go slow, take your time, get all the one-ups, little mini things that happen on the side. You'll have fun. Next is the letter L and that is Lake. This was an indie game that was made for Microsoft for, I think, actually for Game Pass. Pretty much you are a woman who is giving a favor to your father and letting him go to Florida for a vacation, and which you are in the 80s. And you're delivering mail for <laughs> the community, and you meet the community and you find out that they all need help in different ways, and it's like a little sandbox of chill vibes. I recommend it. Don't expect a lot. Just let this story progress and there's some love interests if you want to try those out 10 out of 10 i recommend it to all my indie fans next is the letter m and that is mario kart 8 deluxe mario kart it's racing with friends i feel like i am asking for more cowbell right now <laughs> basically you are mario or luigi or peach or whoever you want to be and you battle through to get all the races done for 50, 100, 150, mirror, and I believe 200. I think that's the, the max. 
I recommend it. It's a fun racer. It has a lot of DLC packages right now that you can enjoy. So more races. Yay! I I had a blast and I still have a blast. I'm going to try to keep playing Mario Kart until they make Mario Kart 9. Next is the letter N and that is Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. An amazing story. It's a beat em up, well, hack and slash <laughs> with swords. And you go through and progress all the way through. I will say I enjoyed Japan really, really good. I loved the big bosses that you battle. It's kind of like God of War where you're a little figure on the ground and then you have like a big old boss. The head, the arms are slapping down and hitting you. I liked the story. I enjoyed it. Had a fun time with it. Recommend it to anybody. Letter O is Automatus Excellent. This is a shooter. One of the few shooters, the like vertical shooters, horizontal shooters that actually I was okay with. You got several female characters and you could be in a starship and you battle other female characters who are bosses and they are very huge ships and you have to battle them. I recommend this one. It has so much like fun aspect of like where the hitboxes are and different things like that. Great shooter. Letter P is Plants vs. Zombies. This is the one game that I was so debating about because I thought it was meant for kids and it was going to be boring. It's strategy. You have to put the little plants where you want them to go to stop the zombies from getting to your house to eat your brains. It's so much fun. And there's a little boss at the end. I didn't know there was a story. So if you want a campaign story, get Plants vs. Zombies for the Xbox 360. Didn't like the other ones, but this one was a 10 out of 10 for me. The letter Q is Quantum Break. You are finding out that your brother has made a time machine. And now the time is wonky and it freezes or you can go back in time, go forward in time, whatever you want to do. But I recommend it. I enjoyed it. I had a fun time with this. It's a shooter, it's a third person shooter with a little bit of strategy, trying to figure out how to get through to the world and go back in time, go forward in time, save people, read the story, read everything. I had a fun time with it. You'll enjoy it. Next is the letter R and that is Rise, Son of Rome. This was a launch game for the Xbox One. Great game. It's a beat em up, hack and slash, and uh, it's a lot of fun. There's strategy where you have to hold the line and keep moving forward and tell them to break and, and shoot your arrows and your spears at the, the enemies. I enjoyed it. I didn't think I was going to enjoy this game, but I had a fun time with it. And I think a lot of people probably let it go because of all the weird reviews of I don't understand it. Literally, there's poles. There's a pole with a flag. If there's a pole with a flag, go to it. There's probably a prompt that you need to hit to be able to do something. Just a little hint for you. This is the letter S, and that is Saints Row the Third. Classic game. I enjoyed it. Never really got into the <laughs> remastered faces. I, I enjoy the old faces from back in the day. It's a good story. You are a gang of people who you are now controlling the city, but then the president of the United States says, Saints Row, you are no longer allowed, and they get Send in the military to stop you and the military goes bonkers and you gotta stop them. So I enjoyed this one. You're gonna have fun with it. Next is the letter T and that is Tales of Iron. It's a good RPG. Basically you are doing a little bit of platforming and RPG and you're a little rat who finds out that your kingdom is being invaded by the frogs and you have to stop them and get your brother but sadly they kill the king, so you have to do your job and save your brother, save everybody, and stop the frogs. And I recommend it. It gives you quests that don't feel redundant or boring. You don't feel like you're grinding through to get your equipment and stuff like that. And there's a lot of equipment and modified things that help you do different stuff. So you're going to want to swap different armor out, out throughout the game. I enjoyed it. I had fun. I didn't think I was going to have fun. And there's a little bit of DLC for you to keep playing, so... I recommend this one. Next is the letter U and that is Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. I enjoy the Uncharted games. I love them and I recommend them. Don't mind the the crawling and the climbing and all that stuff. It's a little wonky. As long as you enjoy the story you're gonna have a good time. So play the story, 
get over the shooting. I know a lot of people hate the shooting, a lot of people hate the climbing aspect, but the story will get you. I enjoy the story. I liked seeing all that happened in the middle between the brothers, and you get to see more backstory with him and Sam, so gotta try it. It's got Crash Bandicoot in there. Next is V, and that is Vegas Tales. This is a great story. It's an FMV game where you have to interview four sets of people slash couples, and you have to find out who's going to take over a casino for a man who owns the casino and he's passing away because he's found out he's terminal. You got to go through. <laughs> the interviews are hilarious. There's a lot of people you're going to remember from Disney Channel and different like TV shows. Maybe even some YouTubers, I think, or some comedy, like, was it College Humor? I think that was one it was. Definitely fun. Uh, you can skip a lot of the stuff. There's certain stuff you can't skip, but the story is fun, so you can watch it over and over again. Next is W, and that is Wet, the video game. Quentin Tarantino put into a video game. I recommend this one. You're basically going as a third-person shooter, but you have to razzle-dazzle the whole scene because you're making a movie. So you can't just go in and walk around and start shooting people. You have to flip, you have to slide, you have to maneuver around, you have to throw somebody 45 feet the other way and get points and earn things. The only thing I recommend is make the razzle-dazzle so massive that they give you the most points so you can keep going because otherwise you're gonna be like, oh, let's start the scene over again. I didn't get enough points. Fun game. I recommend it. Next is X, and that is X-Men Mutant Academy, and this is a fighter. All the X-Men characters are able to battle each other, and you battle all the villains in the game, and I like it. I enjoy it. It's a good fighter. For a Game Boy Color game to have only two buttons, it makes most and utilizes all the directional D-pad part, so... I recommend this fighter. If you're into fighters, you're gonna enjoy this one. This is the letter Y, and that is Yakuza 3. Sandbox goodness, open world. You basically have missions you have to go through and defeat all the bad guys. You are one of the Yakuza clan members, and you're tired of fighting, and you want to help this orphanage out, only to find out that the orphanage is trying to be sold, and they're trying to buy up the orphanage, and the bad guys keep messing with you because they want to destroy the building to make you want to sell. So you have to stop them, and you have to get through. I love Yakuza games. They're fun. I played 1 and 2, and I did not know if it was going to go in a good direction, and I didn't have a PS3 to find out, so I'm glad they remastered it and put it on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and 5, so try it out. It's a fun game. The final letter is Z, and that is Zatch Bell Electric Arena, another good fighter. Basically, it is Death Note meets a fighter. You come across a book and a little creature who is your little minion, and it helps you fight all the other characters, and you find out a bunch of other kids found a book and a little minion, and you got powers. So you use the powers of your book to shoot at the other characters and fight and punch and kick and different things with your, you have like to, you have to figure out the mechanics of the little person that is your like creature thing and then you have to battle them to go through. So I recommend this fighter for the unique style that it has and all the factors that it goes through with the story. In the end, you want to help your family and find your father, I believe it is, and good ending. Solid. I love when fighters give you a good ending, so recommend this one. And there you have it, everybody. There is the video game alphabet challenge. Knocked it out of the park. Let me know. Did you enjoy that? Were you planning on doing that ever? Sounds like a fun idea. You don't have to set a number. You just pick a random game. Go to your Game Pass or your, I don't know what it's called now, uh, PlayStation Now, I think it is. Find a game, play it, and enjoy it. And then your video game challenge for Alphabet is done. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please give this video a like and consider another video if you're brand new. Hit the sub button. Helps out the channel. And I'll catch you next video. Bye, everybody. Linda the Gamer Gal. She's here. She's playing games. 
Linda the gamer gal She's here, she's playing games